Question number 10, the last question for this paper. The line L has the equation R equals to 4i plus 3j minus k, the fixed point, plus mu 1i plus 2j minus 2k. This is your direction vector. The plane P has the equation 2x minus 3y minus z equals to 4. So 2 minus 3 minus 1 is your normal. Part 1, find the position vector, the point of intersection of the line and plane. Okay, so first let's write down the line in parametric form so this would be 4 plus mu then 3 plus 2 mu and finally minus 1 plus minus 2 mu this, this was step 1 step 2 you substitute the r for the plane for the line into the r for the alpha and r for the plane of the line into the R of the plane. So this would be 4 plus u then 3 plus 2 u 2 mu sorry and 1 minus 1 minus 2 mu dot the normal. The normal is 2 minus 3 minus 1 so 2 minus 3 minus 1 equals to 4. So this would be 8 plus 2 mu minus 9 minus 6 mu and then finally plus 1 plus 2 mu equals to 4 so 2 mu plus 2 mu 4 mu minus 6 mu so this would be minus 2 mu 8 plus 1 9 9 minus 9 0 so we are left with minus 2 mu equals to 4 so mu equals to minus 2 you plug this mu back into the r of the line and you get your point of intersection as 4 minus 2 is 2 3 plus 2 times minus 2 this would be minus 1 and finally minus 1 minus 2 into minus 2 4 so minus 1 plus 4 3 so your point of intersection is 2 minus 1 and 3 then find the acute angle between the line and plane so you dot the direction vector with the normal the moduli of the direction vector and the normal and cos alpha this is not your acute angle between the line and the plane this is alpha so yeah you carry out the entire procedure to find alpha so dot product of the normal and the direction vector so this would be the direction vector was 1 2 minus 2 so 1 2 minus 2 dot the normal the normal was uh, 2 minus 3 minus 1 2 minus 3 minus 1 upon moduli modulus of the norm of the direction vector 1 plus 4 plus 4 9 root 9 is 3 3 root modulus of the normal so 4 plus 9 13 plus 1 14 so 3 root 14 right uh, so this is this entire thing is cos inverse though so yeah so alpha would be equals to 100.26 degrees now the rule was that uh, if your alpha is obtuse you subtract 90 from it to get your acute angle so theta is going to be 100.26 minus 90 and this finally turns out to be 10.3 if your alpha is obtuse you subtract 90 from it if your alpha is acute uh, you uh, you subtract it from 90 to get your acute angle acute uh, if your alpha is acute, 90 minus alpha. If your alpha is obtuse, alpha minus 90 to get your theta. The last part. A second plane Q is parallel to L perpendicular to P and contains the point with position vector 4 minus J. Find the equation of Q, giving your answer in the form AX plus B in the Cartesian form basically. So, to find the normal, we'll have to cross the line, uh, the direction vector direction vector and the normal of plane P okay okay so if you don't get this please uh, head over to entire playlist uh, on vectors it has how you 
across two vectors as well. So i j k we write down the direction vector. The direction vector was one two minus two and two minus three minus one. So one two minus two two minus three minus one. When you cross it you'll get your normal. The normal will be eight three seven and then finally it's a sorry it's first r dot n and then finally it's r dot n equals to a dot n so r dot n that's a three seven equals to a dot n we have a point on the plane that's zero four minus one so zero four minus one dot n that's eight three seven so this would finally be eight x plus three y plus seven z equals to three into four twelve twelve minus seven is five so this is the Cartesian equation of the plane Q. So this is it for the entire Feb March 2018 paper. If you have any questions, please put them down in the comments below. Thank you so much.